top 5 Adobe Premiere Pro features every video editor needs to know. Every editor must have had a breathtaking moment when they first used the wonderful, really simple Adobe Premiere Pro software. Given that Adobe Premiere Pro is one of the best video editing software, and that professional editors use it for everything from YouTube videos to Hollywood blockbusters, it should come as no surprise that there is a strong demand for Adobe Premiere Pro tips at the moment. Its complexity prevents all of its potentials from being immediately obvious, though. Choose a timeline. It might be intimidating to edit a large project, but by adopting this method you'll save time and receive results when you need them. Go over all of your material before starting a new project, especially if it involves a lot of films, like vacation films or documentary projects. Then, one of the quickest recommendations is to begin cherry-picking your timeline as you review your footage. Using this technique, you may select and lightly arrange your frames so that you can begin your actual editing assembly later. The clips you require must be picked up at the beginning of the timeline, and the other clips must be hung at the conclusion. Start your editing after removing the unnecessary footage. Decode footage You could occasionally receive footage that wasn't shot at the required export frame rate. Adobe Premiere Pro will have to delete frames from a clip to make it fit into a sequence that is set at 24 frames per second, for instance, if you enter a clip that was shot at 60 FPS into the sequence. This will cause the playback to appear weird. The absence of 6 frames per second, however, will provide a glitch appearance if you put 24 frames per second video into 30 frames per second sequence. Using the Interpret Footage tool, you may change the movie to a comparable frame rate without affecting the picture quality. For instance, a film shot in 60, 50, or 30 apps and other frame rates may be quickly converted to any frame rate. It is important to keep in mind that decreasing the frame rate produces slow motion video and lengthens the clip, whilst increasing the frame rate produces quicker video and shortens the clip. Speed and length can be adjusted within the sequence if necessary. View of Comparison Your one-stop shop for all shot matching and referencing needs is the Program Monitor's Comparison Display. Users may simply match colors on different photographs or evaluate the effects of visual effects before and after, for instance. For comparison view, there are three possible arrangement options, side-by-side, -side, horizontal, and vertical. During color grading and color fixing, the side-by-side -side view, which compares two whole frames, is useful for shot matching. The horizontal and vertical view layouts divide or split horizontally or vertically two photographs to create a single frame. The choice of the photo or frame comparison is equally important. Users will only be allowed to work with current and reference images if this option is deactivated. The reference shot is in a different sequence location than the current shot, which is wherever your playhead is on the timeline. You will have two copies of the same photo if you enable this option. Your before shot will be one and your after shot will be another. As a consequence, you may easily contrast any new visual effects before and after look. Create a multi-camera flow. The multi-camera sequence in Premiere makes it easy to edit video from a variety of camera sources, even though it could seem complex. Users may also swiftly assemble many video and audio sources into a single sequence. Adobe Premiere Pro will organize the camera feeds in a neat grid when everything has been synced up so you can see each stream. Users may use the corresponding number key to navigate the timeline and choose the clip they want to view. If you use four cameras to record an interview, Adobe Premiere Pro will create a synchronized sequence with all four points of view and give each camera a number. One, two, three, four. Simply tapping one key will switch to the first camera if you like the shot it delivered. Use the three key to switch to camera three if you like its viewpoint. The multicam sequence feature in Premiere is widely appreciated by editors who previously had to manually match video and audio sources with time codes on slates or the audio spike from a slate clap. Give audio. Recent updates to Premiere Pro include an audio capability that makes audio mixing easier for both amateur and expert users. Additionally, the audio type and audio assign features make it simple for users to change audio and are very helpful in the creative workflow. Four different audio categories can be applied to an audio track, music, 
Ambient, SFX, and Dialog. Once allocated with a single click, the audio panel will populate with presets and effects accessible to that category. You may choose a balanced female voice from the radio or construct a close-up if you add the speech tag to an audio track in the timeline. You may choose from several settings and options when adding a music tag to hide the music behind other audio sources. Conclusion You might choose to understand the concepts of the specified technologies using this video. Once you start it and have a handle on it, you may easily access this software. Our custom options help you find the finest workstation for your demands and within your budget. Please visit our website www.holoware.co for your custom workstation requirements.